Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Bowler with a pickup from Trader Jack's Flea Market. I went there at the very end of summer before I decided to put myself into a bit of a self-quarantine situation where I would not be traveling to stores or anything for a while. So who knows when this video is actually going to be uploaded. But yes, I went to Trader Jack's Flea Market in Bridgeville, Pennsylvania. I bought things from five different folks, and the first one I bought from, I uh, bought these two baseballs. So this ball, the PIAA, the Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic Association ball is still wrapped up. And then I have an NCAA baseball, which I'd actually been looking mm -hmm. for one of these. Purse do bought it says it's from the College World Series. I mean, he might be honest, but whatever. It, it definitely looks like a batting practice ball, so if that's the case, that's pretty cool, but... I have two baseballs that I'd like to get ink on it sometime. I got an idea for this one, but we'll see how things play out. So there's a couple of cool baseballs that uh, I was able to add. And I had been looking for an NCAA baseball, so that was pretty cool too. So, All right, next up, this is not a sports purchase. This is just a math celebration. There were 31 of these wooden rulers make it 30. I accidentally broke one of them because it was warped and I was trying to bend it back and it snapped. But anyway, I asked the seller, you know, how much would it be for the entire box? And she asked five, five dollars. So hooray, I got a class set of rulers that I can beat up and not think much about. They don't last as many years as I, what I'd like, but for five bucks, that's awesome. All right, next up, Inside the building, where last video I showed you, which would have been toward the end of September, I had purchased a bunch of trading cards from a seller. Well, I went through their publications and bought three magazine type slash programs here. So the first one I got, which is commemorative edition, you can see it's numbered out of 100,000, which, yeah, it's a large number, 49,096 of 100,000. But it's the On Deck magazine, and it's the final edition. At the time, it, they were charging $10 for it, so I got this one and two others. My plans with this, I would really like to get John Wayner's autograph on there. You know, John Wayner's autograph, last home run hit at Three River Stadium. That would be something pretty cool. Then I picked this one up, this yearbook from 1979 with Dave Parker on the front. He had two of them and this one was just a little bit nicer. In fact, it probably looked a little bit nicer if I took it out of the plastic that's around it. But yeah, so my plan is to send this through the mail to Dave Parker. He does sign through past pros, so that would be a really cool thing to really cool thing to get signed. And then this one, he had two of them, and this one was a little bit nicer. I have never seen this one before. But that's an amazing picture with Manny Sanguian. And he's doing a private signing I saw on a Facebook group. So by the time this video comes out, I'll probably, you know, that signing will be well past. But uh, hopefully this will be autographed when this video is eventually played. But yeah, I'm going to send this one through the mail. This would look amazing with Manny Sanguian's autograph on it. All three of these, $30, which is actually the number I was hoping for. In my mind, I was hoping he'd do 10 on the Manny, 15 on the Dave Parker, and five on this. And whatever he did in his head to get up to 30 bucks, very good. That's the number I was hoping for anyway. So that was my third person I bought something from. The fourth person I bought something from cost me a whole dollar. And for those of you who are Family Guy ref fans, that's not a back scratcher. That's a butt scratcher. Butt scratcher. Butt scratcher. Butt scratcher. Yeah, I, I just thought that was really, really funny. And that's going to be gifted to a coworker, as he also has quite the appreciation for Family Guy. <laughs> so, uh, last one. Okay, more serious now. The fifth and final person... I bought from the owner of Baseball Card Castle. His wife 
had a stand there, so I bought three packs of the penny sleeves here. I actually bought five. Two of them are going to my buddy. So I bought three for myself and a bunch of cards. $33 total for everything. These were dollar cards where she gave me a nice deal on them, and these were $5 cards, which she ended up making it three for ten. So this was just a really, really <coughs> good deal overall. So these cards would have been a buck a piece. So I looked through probably six shoe boxes to get to these cards here. And this is mostly TTM fuel. So I think I went alphabetically on this and in some type of organized manner. Like first we'll start with the Pirates. We have some Gene Alley cards. I've had some success with him. So there's three. I've had success with Steve Blass. That's a pretty bright colored card that looked great with some ink on it joe coleman had his moment with the pirates duffy dyer yep dave justy i've never had this card before there's never dave justy i've never had this particular dick Grote card he's great for ttm so that'll be nice there's another pretty decent looking Dick Grow card. I mean, it's really bright color card, so autograph will pop on that. I'm pretty sure he signs TTM, but I've never sent to him, so it's time. So I got two. Bob Johnson, uh, he has in the past, so I bought a couple cards of him. We'll see. I've had some success with Bob Oldis, and I've had some non-successes with Bob Oldis. He is the only person I've ever sent a baseball to with a modest $5 or $10 donation. It was a $5 donation for him, and never got it back. He's the only person I've ever sent something that wasn't a trading card, so that's a bit of an ouch situation, but it does happen. I think this is a 1980 car, but... Or no, it's the 1979. Duh, the 79 card because that was the year they won the World Series. I've bought these in the past. Got some sticker cards here. Look good with some older signatures on there because of the old logos. The Don Schwal card. Now, he was a pirate, but he did not start as a pirate. You can see he's a red sock, and I think this is absolutely hilarious. Somebody took the time to cut out where it would have sent Boston Red Sox, and then they found a card that was from Pittsburgh Pirates, who happened to be a pitcher. They cut that out and taped it onto the back. That was not me. That is freaking hilarious. This has to get signed. I know some people will be like, that's dumb. That ruins the card. No, that is hilarious. As a Pirates fan, that is beautiful. The original one, Frank Thomas, the $5 donation will be coming out to him for that card. He's super nice. Bill Verdon's a good TTMer. Luke Walker is a good TTMer. I have never seen this car before. And for that 1971 set, I mean, that's pretty good, decent, you know, looking enough card. Roger Craig, I've never sent to him, but I have another card I want to send out with him. Vaughn Hayes. I believe he's $5 per, so I don't think I will send it out to him, but you never know. Don Money is a good TTMer. I bought some Sidney Crosby cards for the PC here because, you know, a couple of SPX cards. Yep. Pierre LaRouche, he's a good TTMer. That'll go out eventually. I don't know if he signs TTM or not. I couldn't quite remember. But I've met him once and he was nice. And these are all, you know, relic or auto cards. So we got a Ryan Domit jersey card. And, yeah, I think these are all autos now. Chad Hermanson, high prospect for the Pirates back in the day who didn't do much. Oh, there's a relic, Juan Gonzalez. We got some autographs all from the same Donruss set here. Nothing major, but they were, you know, prospect, you know, had some upside to them. Todd Walker, Orlando Cabrera, Rondell White, Richard Hidalgo, and Henry Rodriguez. Oh, Henry. So those were dollar cards. Got, gave me a nice deal on them. And these were $5 cards, which she ended up just doing 3 for 10. Carl Erskine, who got two of his. He's a great TTMer, and these will look great with some ink on them. Seriously, that would look amazing. That yellow background, that pink background, that's pretty. And Bobby Shantz, who is a TTM legend. That plus a $5 donation, yeah, that's going to happen. So, And I also got those 
three packs of penny sleeves here. So that was $33 total for me. Plus, I actually picked up two more packs for my buddy. So that's my trip to Trader Jack's. I was definitely well worth the trip. Got a nice little amount of things here. Got some cards, got some baseballs, got some programs, got a gag gift, and some rulers for personal use. So... Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below what you liked the most. I always appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.